What is up, guys? Who's ready for more fun government stimulus bill talk? Because I know I am. In order to continue with this video, you're definitely going to need some coffee. So as of today, April 22nd, there was a new stimulus bill that was passed by the Senate. So according to the president's briefing yesterday, April 21st, we are having a new stimulus bill. That bill is approved for around another $480 billion to go into small businesses, hospitals, corona testing, and to refund programs like the PPP and the EIDL. So just for perspective, we have already seen a $2 trillion stimulus bill that was already signed into law a couple weeks back. This is technically stage three or stage 3.5, in the continuing stimulus bills being passed. So $310 billion of the new stimulus bill is going towards the refunding of the PPP. If you don't know what this is, this is the Paycheck Protection Program. This is for small businesses to maintain employing their current employees. And as you may have seen in the news, Bigger companies like Shake Shack and Potbelly have taken advantage of these bills when really it was meant for companies less than 500 employees and even much smaller companies like that to stay afloat during these difficult times. So I actually did a webinar yesterday that I'm going to upload a little bit later on today or tomorrow, dissecting and really laying out the descriptions and qualifications and criteria for the Paycheck Protection Program and the EIDL. But basically it is for small businesses to make payroll, to pay the rent, to pay the mortgages, to pay utilities, and actually to pay the owner's salary as well. So along with the PPP, the EIDL has also gotten additional funding. This funding amounts to about $60 billion, and 10 of that new 60 is going towards forgivable grants of the $10,000 for small business. Some of you may have seen if you apply for the EIDL, only getting $1,000 per employee and not that full $10,000. This was a tactic in order to fund some of the companies when the money was running out through the funding program. So if you go onto the website, it is currently unavailable. I guess it's the 22nd of April in the morning, but it's currently unavailable to accept new applications for the EIDL. This is a bit different from the PPP, the Paycheck Protection Program. You need to go to your local bank and speak with a banker there and a lender so that you can then fill out the paperwork and submit for that application. Currently they are locked up and actually applications are being held until it officially gets passed later this week for the additional funding to fund those programs. And just so you're aware, the House has to additionally pass and then the President will then sign it into law. Once that happens, then the money will be released to the banking and the SBA. Something really important with this new package that I applaud DC for doing is they are earmarking these funds for small to mid-sized banking to make sure that the small business across the country get the funds and it's actually going to the right people. Unlike Potbelly and Shake Shack, for example, which I believe Shake Shack is actually giving their money back and I'm not sure of the update on Potbelly. So 60 billion of the $310 billion is actually being set aside for the PPP program. Gee, sink. Okay. So loud. Oh my God, Kiri, can you hear that? That's awesome, it's really great. So 60 billion of that 310 billion is actually being set aside for lenders who have 50 billion and less in assets and 30 of that 60 is set aside for those who have 10 billion or less in assets. It's really focusing on trying to get the money to everyone and not just serve the people at the top. Another quick update on the $1,200 stimulus check that we all should be receiving if you fall within the criteria. Within the video that I'm going to upload later today or tomorrow, that is also included in there. But I wanted to give you a little bit of updates right now. So 80 million people have received the $1,200 stimulus check, whether it was through direct deposit or actual checks that are being sent out. This is about half of the eligible Americans who will be receiving the check. Some stats show that if you are receiving a physical check, it may take as long as late fall for it to get to you. And if you haven't updated your address on the USPS website, go do that because the check could go to an incorrect address. And for those of you who are freaking out, if you never receive your direct deposit and it's the end of the year and you never received your actual physical check, those funds will just be applied to your 2020 tax credit. So if you get a refund of $1,000 and your criteria you fall within, you get the full 1200, 
it will then be $2,200. Within the new stimulus bill, $75 billion has been earmarked for healthcare and hospitals, obviously because of the increased work and hours and supplies that have been exhausted during this time of outbreak and pandemic. These funds will be made sure that these hospitals and healthcare systems can then run and operate at a full level. And for the package before, there was actually $100 billion that was earmarked for these same spending. This just kind of shows how much pressure has been put on the whole entire system and how much money is really need to get done what needs to get done. Because they have successfully figured out effective ways to execute on the testing, another $25 billion has been put towards that, the actual administering of the testing and the tracking and the logistics. This is almost just as important as supporting the healthcare system because it really allows and tracks those people who are infected and those people who are healthy. So if many of you also have seen, there are three new proposals that are being put on the table. They haven't been voted on and they haven't been approved yet or signed into law. The first one is one you've probably heard about is the Emergency Money for the People Act. This is giving eligible citizens $2,000 per month up to 12 months who make less than $130,000 a year. It is about double that for couples if you're filing jointly. The second one is the Rent and Mortgage Cancellation Act. This is effectively maneuvering and deferring rent or mortgages for up to a year. The third act is Getting America Back to Work Act. I bet we can all guess who named that one. This would provide an additional payroll tax rebate which would fund 80% of payroll expenses in order to hire new people and maintain current employees. All this to be said, DC, the White House, and different politicians are working very hard to get these bills passed and get the funding out to the people of America. But you have to understand, regardless of your political views, Republican, Democrat, Independent, whatever you are, this massive organization that is the government trying to assist and help all of these people from those who lose their job, those who are owning companies, and those who are getting sick, it's a wild chaos and they're really doing the best that they can. So whether it's checking your stimulus check on the website and the portal's not working, or updating your address and you don't know when your deposit's coming in, be patient but be proactive. Make sure and try to get your bank account updated on the website. Also, if you are sitting in a position to where you lost your job or you all of a sudden have no more income, don't sit there with your hand out. Go and look and research online how to work remotely for different companies, how to be an independent contractor, and how to make money. We do live in the capitalist society, and I believe those who simply wait with their hand out will be left in the dust. All right, hopefully this was beneficial, guys. I know it's not the most exciting stuff to listen and talk to about, but unfortunately, this is what's going on in the world, and it's super important to be informed and make the best decisions for yourself, your family, and your business. If you have any comments or questions, definitely leave it down below. Open up a discussion panel. If you like this video at all and found it at all informative or helpful, please give it a like. And if you want to keep watching my mug on TV, subscribe to the channel. Thanks so much, guys. I appreciate it and stay safe out there. And hopefully that was recording. I didn't check if it was recording. If it wasn't, I'm not going to do it again.